Yeah. <laughs> Y'all know the deal. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he does it. Someone say like, share, and subscribe, and we can go for food. Yeah, there yeah, we go. Seriously. Right. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. We are headed to Poland from Gera, Germany for Altrace, one of the wildest car shows in Europe. One might argue in the world. You might ask yourself, why do we have the Opel Cadet loaded up? Well, it is going to Altrace, but not because it's a show car. We are driving the Opel Cadet from Wrocław, Preslo, all the way to the Netherlands near Amsterdam to Remco shop to build the car and then drive it to England for Players Classic next weekend. So Alex had the great idea to load this up on his trailer and take it all the way to Altrace with us. So then from there, we don't have to come back here to Gera. We can head right to the Netherlands since we don't have hardly any time to do this. So we are Altrace bound. <laughs> yep. <laughs> with totally. a stock Opel Cadet. And we drive them all together with Gregor, with my friend Fight, with a Mark 1 Jetta. Yeah, ne I never haven't seen them. So ah, never perfect. Have seen them. Awesome. So. Yeah, Gregor's loaded up with the Mark III Jetta that you guys saw at the beginning of last two episodes ago. Shaved Bay, 16 valve, wild, wild car. This is my first all trace, so it's going to be absolutely overwhelming. We've got a lot of friends coming though, so I can't wait to see some European friends. Even a few American friends are going to be there. So we're about to hit the road. Join us as we experience the first day of all trace for the very first time. It's going to be wild. And Alex's hybrid lowered ST Ford Explorer, which is quite cool in Europe. These things cost $80,000 in Europe. Wild. All right, let's go. What's up guys? We are here at Altrace in Wrocław, Poland. And already in the last hour that we've been here, actually we've probably been here for like two or three hours because we've been chatting with friends. This place is unbelievable. Like I don't have the words to describe how insane this show is. This is Friday, it's the day before the show. And basically the only people that are here are people loading in and media people. And this show is just unbelievable. I don't even know where to begin to show you guys the insanity that's here. I've been to Poland before, but this is my first time to Wrocław and my first time to Altrace. And this show is gonna be insane. This weekend is gonna be nuts. All right guys, well we checked into the hotel. Adrian from Altrace got us set up in the bridge. And this place is awesome. It's got kind of like an industrial feel to it with the concrete, with like old kind of patinaed paintings. The view is pretty cool. There's like some old buildings with inside of the river. This here's rooftop. And this was here waiting. Waiting in the room. 
far too nice. Far too nice. Well, neither Kayla or I drink, but this was a nice gesture. We'll share the Red Bull. There's some Polish treats in here, some Ultra socks. These are really cool. And a note, a kind of note for being a guest of Ultra's. So that is super, super nice of them. Now I gotta figure out how to get that box home in one of my suitcases without completely destroying it. All right, guys, this is it. This is day one of all trace here in Wrocław, Poland. We're hanging with Adrian and Bremi. We're just getting a schedule set up for the day. So I'm gonna do my best to bring you guys along and kind of show you what's involved in being a judge at one of the craziest car shows in the world. I don't know if I'm up for the task, but I'm gonna do my best. Adrian thinks this is a great idea. Basically, he knows that I've got a different style than a lot of people. So I'll see some cars that are more my style than maybe someone else's. So I'm really excited to kind of pick some of my favorites out of this insane diverse group of cars for the day. Speed gearbox for my 911, wow. 950 gearbox, and you have six cylinders. Yeah. You have, you need space yeah. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. this. And you, wow. uh, and the challenge was to build is to build it yeah, like, it like uh, nobody yeah. sees. Oh. Yes. What yes. it is. Yeah. And now we build some um, some special flaps. Oh, to like duck to the to air. just did an interview with the Liberty Walk Boys about Kato's silhouette R34. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jimmy's here. We, we, two Americans hanging out in Poland just talking about silhouette <laughs> tribute cars. And it's just been an insane experience. Uh, Jimmy and I, BMX buds from back home, the northeast of America. And it's just so crazy to like see us both here in Poland around all these crazy builds and most notably the R34 silhouette. So crazy. We get hanging out and we don't film enough because it's, it's really just the personal communion, the fellowship basically that's most important. We forget that filming can take over too much of our personal experience over here. So it's really cool to see all these guys and hang out and just take this in. I mean, this is tactile. We're here. We're not seeing this car through a phone or on a screen. It's in person and we can, I mean, we put the camera inside the car while we did the interview. And this is wild to like open the door and just kind of hang out around the car. Henry from Slam Sanctuary is here. What's up, Henry? How's it going, man? <laughs> it's just so crazy. So we're going to try to not get sunburned today and uh, stay in the shade. All right, so Alex and Megan are leaving early. This is Sunday, obviously, last day of all trace. They're leaving for Berlin in the next hour, and it's around one o'clock. So I've got to be at the stage at three. So we are tasked with driving the cadet from here three and a half hours to Berlin tonight to stay with my friend Max and his girlfriend Anna, and then 
in the morning, we drive to the Netherlands to Remco's, and then we immediately start building the car to then go to England. So we're unloading now. We're gonna put it into a tight parking space and put all our stuff in it. We drive to Berlin tonight after the show. We're not tired. We're not tired at all. And we do not have AC. Obviously, it's hot in Europe on this trip. And we have no AC. And we don't have smoker windows either, so we can get air coming into the cabin. So we will see. There's no back windows that open either. So we're gonna see at highway speed. We do have a sunroof. Yeah. That'll be open. These windows will be open. Hopefully we have enough air coming in to survive. No air conditioning. <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> yeah. No this way. He's dead. All right, well, when we took the cadet off the trailer, it started real slow, but I left it running for a while just in case. And then we moved it around, but then I shut it off just out of habit. And sure enough, the battery's dead and it's an automatic. So we can't push start it. So we got all the drifters here and we know a handful of them. So we should be okay uh, with getting a jump when we are ready to hit the road uh, later tonight. So we're just gonna let it sit here for now. Locked it up. Now we're gonna go get food. I have to be at the stage in another hour or two to then figure out top 16 down to the top best of show. Tell me what's going on. <laughs> uh, my car overheats a lot, so uh, I got a new viscous vent, a coupler, whatever ah. you call it, and uh, hopefully it fixes it. Maybe it helps. Burning hot. Yeah. For three hours. So yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 <laughs> At least you have the tools. Yeah, exactly. Rare. Another country. Rare. Yeah. Without them, we don't have this event. So really. Clap your hands together and zoop jaws to the whole staff and team of the Altrace, really. They deserve it to the fullest. Yeah. It's your time to shine, the whole team. Clap, clap, clap! Come on, make some noise! We're out of Poland! Yes! Yeah. Throw! Throw! I don't know what it did anymore. I don't know what it did anymore. I don't know what it did anymore. I don't know what it did Alright. So uh, we have something special today on the stage. It's about you, I think so. Um, I heard about it something with an award or something like that. Explain it to the audience what we're doing right now. I've made two custom awards, one for All Trace and one for Players Classic, just as a commemorative piece to being a part of this community with all of you. But I wanted to present this award that I've made myself to my favorite car here. This award goes to the T1 bus the patina bus with the brakes on the outside of the wheels. That is my favorite car because that is, it takes so much to think of that. Yes. Thanks for bringing this award, man. Yes, of course. And make the biggest noise ever for this guy as well. John Ruby with all the awards. Thank you. Outrage, wow. <laughs> Just be me. Just be me, award. Party over here. <laughs> hey. That was great to meet you guys. Thank you for all the help. It's been awesome. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you very much. Really oh, yeah, it worked out perfect. Thank you guys so much. I do appreciate it. We'll see you guys at Players next weekend. Yeah, yeah. Safe travels home. I'm so tired and so sunburned. 
And this thing still is dead. We haven't even gotten this thing running yet. We got a few friends that have some jump packs that we can use. So shout out to Daniel Mandat and uh, Henry Full, a couple friends that have offered some jump packs. So we're gonna figure out what we're doing tonight. It's a three and a half hour drive to Berlin. And normally that's easy peasy, even with a, a really long weekend and how tired we are. But I don't know the car. We haven't been down the road in it yet. Nothing over 20 miles an hour yet. So we have no idea how this thing drives down the road. It's gonna be dark soon. So do we risk driving to Berlin three and a half hours across highway in Poland that I'm not familiar with in a language that we don't speak in a car that we don't know under the cover of darkness with no tools? Or do we try to straight shot it all the way to the Netherlands tomorrow, which is like nine and a half hours? But right now, we are Tetris blocking everything in this Opel Cadet. You're in it. Hey guys. Hey mom, final on YouTube. Mom, I Hi mom. mom, I made it. I'm in USA. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> what do you think about this guy? TJ Espora. He just bought me a kebab, so he's a good guy. Real okay, good. I bought him a kebab, but there's a catch to it. Like there's a catch. I bought one for John. He has to follow me on Instagram. The catch is, he has to come to my car show. Jeez! I like this guy. I like him. <laughs> Boy, Art's here. Oh yeah, uh, from Canada. <laughs> yeah, we are not in Canada right now. Yeah, we're in Poland. or America. Or America. <laughs> All right. Huge thanks to Henry Full for the jump pack, which we will deliver to him at Players Classic next weekend in England. So that saved us. I haven't even looked at these terminals yet. They don't look too corroded, but I don't know what the date is on the battery. The battery could be very old. So. All right, it's thinking. I don't know if I need to press anything else. I think we're good to go. All right, keep your fingers crossed, it starts. It could not have been easier. All right, now we leave it running until we get to the hotel and we charge that thing overnight tonight. Oh yeah, look at this. Hey, it's yeah. working. <laughs> Best car here, easy. <laughs> Yeah. Cool. It'd be really interesting to do a wide body for one of these. Opal. Hint, hint. <laughs> Have you looked at this yet? No! No, look at this thing. It looks like a snowmobile engine. <laughs> Back. Like it's really clean. Clean snowmobile. Or no, like a, almost like a fork open. <laughs> Can you smell it running? It smells old. Yeah. I don't know how an engine smells old, but it smells old. I can smell it from the car. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. yeah. There might be a mouse in there. I can only imagine what you No, I'm just saying it it the engine smells old. I don't know what that means. I know. And I've never <laughs> <laughs> But you're like, yeah, that's an old engine. Oh, it smells like mild communism okay. and I, oil. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to advance the timing a little bit, get you some extra horse puppies. Yeah, get the car yeah. Fast. It's probably the same filter they still use on like a Chevy Sonic or something. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Absolutely. I haven't checked that yet. <laughs> <laughs> you guys will get there. No robust. Problem. Robust. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it looks beautiful in the sunset. I see a little bit of Corrado in it. Yeah. Right? You see the yeah. little... Yeah. Maybe a little bit of a Ford Escort vibe. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. You ever play Grand Theft Auto? Yeah. Look at that. Of course. You know how like with the so cars, cool. they look like look cars, like yeah. but they don't look like cars? Yeah. It looks like they took a bunch of different parts from random cars and made a car out of it. Yeah, this, Grand, is. this is a yeah. Grand Theft Auto car. This is <laughs> like when you go into like the like the booty section of Grand Theft Auto and yeah. like yeah, this is yeah. it. You got wheels for this thing, I know you do. We already shipped them to the meadow. I keep waiting. seeing Bullshit. Cavalier. But, yeah, Bullshit. Yeah, yeah. but you mounted them up, balanced them, set them just happened to have them. <laughs> it's like it looks like the yeah. car that someone's uncle drives that just wouldn't let it die. Right. You know what I mean? It wouldn't die. But with good paint. <laughs> yeah, yeah, see I know you agree. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Jimmy? <laughs> <laughs> Y'all know the deal. Oh. <laughs> he knows what it is. Someone say like, share, and subscribe, and we can go for food. Yeah, there yeah, right. Seriously, right. are you driving like Berlin or something right, right now? No, we're, we're staying going there. We booked. We booked it tonight. Idea. Yeah, Good ten idea. hours tomorrow to the Netherlands. Uh -huh. She's so excited. <laughs>
She'll drive for a bit. She'll be all right. Her Porsche is manual steering, and so is this. So she'll be right at home. Ooh. I'll like comment and subscribe. Yes. Oh, man. That was a good one. Holy cow. That was a good one. I'm tired. All right, guys, that's it for All Trace 2023. It's been an insane weekend. To be a judge here at All Trace was an honor. Can't thank Adrian enough for all the support and bringing me out. I don't really have any words. It's just awesome to meet so many new people, see old friends from all around the world. We're gonna have something big for next year. We're gonna plan something big for next year. We're starting now. It's gonna be a long trip. We're gonna head to the Netherlands tomorrow, about 10 hours to go. But thank you so much for watching, guys. Cross your fingers for our trip tomorrow. That'll be in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching.